Good morning, this is Alamon, and welcome to Democracy 3 by Positech Games. Um, Democracy 3 is basically a political simulator. You play as kind of the head of state, so you get to, um, you know, set policies, reshuffle your cabinet, all that kinds of stuff. Actually, as a game, it doesn't work that well. As a toy, it's okay. Overall, it's kind of a train wreck, but a really fun train wreck. So we're going to jump in as the United Kingdom... Uh, so let's read this. The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, commonly known as the UK or Britain, is one of five permanent members of the UN Security Council and a founding member of NATO and the Commonwealth. The UK is also an active member of the EU, although it chose to retain its sovereign currency rather than join the Euro. The UK is a constitutional monarchy where the monarch's power is effectively ceremonial. A parliamentary system is used to elect the House of Commons under a constituency-based first-past-the-post system. All right, so we're going to play this as a uh, as close to an Orwellian nightmare as we can. So, let's... Uh, I can't even think of... Does it actually... Does the party in 1984 have a name, or is it just the party? Let's just call it the party. And, uh... I don't really remember any of that. Sure. Term, uh, yeah, no limit of terms. Um, and we'll just keep all the rest of this stuff the way it is. Alright, no, I don't want a tutorial. Okay. Yada, yada, yada. So, terrible GDP. Very high unemployment. High crime. And these are actually not too awful. So, all the red bubbles are ongoing bad situations that you have to figure out how to fix. So here we have organized crime. Um, and intelligence services are pulling this down a little bit, but not much. We have vigilante mobs because we have high crime. And the police force and CCTV cameras help to pull this down a bit. Racial tension increases it. This makes people who are conservatives very unhappy. And it depresses tourism. We have alcohol abuse, which is very, very, very high. Uh, so it's caused primarily by alcohol consumption. That makes sense. Um, also by employment, or rather unemployment, contributes to this. And poverty contributes to this. Community policing decreases it. Police force decreases it a little bit. And it increases the amount that we have to spend on state health service. It decreases people's health and increases crime. What else do we have? We have asthma epidemic. Well, okay. So, that's basically just caused by pollution. We have technology backwater. How about that? So this is caused by having low technology and low science funding, I guess. All right. Uncompetitive economy. So this is caused by our low productivity, primarily. Or rather, sorry. Uh, productivity actually decreases this, but we would need higher productivity to um, get rid of all this. So, I mean, you just have kind of this endless rabbit's hole of, you know, this affects this, affects this, affects this. Okay, we actually got all the way down to a policy here. Let's not get into policies yet. What's our last thing? Homelessness. Massive homelessness. And that is caused primarily by high poverty and high unemployment. So we don't want vigilante mobs. You can't have vigilante mobs when you're in Orwellian state. So what we want to do is find our... Well, community policing is good. Um, how much political capital do we have? We have 25 political capital. So that determines how many policies we can push through or uh, tweak. So, uh, is this policing? Yeah, that's police force. I wish that these all just had labels on them automatically. I don't think that there's an option to do that. No, there are like no options in this game. So, it only costs four political capital to raise... So we're going to drag this all the way up to maximum. And community policing, we're also going to drag up to maximum. 
We still have plenty left. We have a bit of a deficit. Oh, all this tutorial stuff. Uh, is there a way for me to dis disable that right now? No, apparently not. Um, so that's going to help a couple things here. Oh yeah, you can also see just by mousing over um, what contributes to something and what um, you know further effects that has. So the arrows feeding into it show you kind of what's causing things. So intelligence services has red arrows feeding in. That means it's decreasing the organized crime. Whereas organized crime, the situation increases crime and violent crime. So we want to increase our intelligence services, of course. And uh, the UK is known for its CCTVs. Uh, or CCTV cameras, rather. Uh, which must be this, yes. So we got to have that all the way up to. All right, we are almost out of political capital. So there's probably not much else we can do here. Um, so this is our cabinet. Um, yeah, some of these people aren't so great. Generally, if they have about 3.8 or above, they're doing a great job. But we have, you know, a 2.8 and a 2.8 over here. So not the best, but um, we're not going to deal with that right away. Uh, let's see, what else can we talk about? This isn't exactly a tutorial, but still, it's important to know what's going on here. So you can see we're not very popular. We were just elected, but we're not popular. Capitalists hate us. That's what the red thing is. It's how much this group likes you. Environmentalists, on the other hand, love us, as do the retired. Um, the somewhat hard-to-see grayish background on these bars... So, for example, Socialist has a large gray block here. Capitalist is relatively small. That shows you the proportion of the population that fits into that bucket. And any one person can have multiple labels. So they might be a wealthy, religious, environmentalist, or something like that. I think we can actually click through to that. Yeah, so for example, this person um, is high on Socialist very high on poor and high on environmentalist and they are also somewhat influenced by being a parent and a state employee and a few other things there uh yeah well let's let a um so this goes in quarters of a year so let's let one quarter pass all right so we have to make a decision debt protection law Debt collection agencies have been in the news because of the aggressive methods they are using to extract payments from people who owe large sums of money. These debt collection agencies provide credit to people whom larger, more respectable companies will not lend money. A law is proposed to limit the ways in which such agencies can operate. So we can limit them, or we can allow them to operate. Uh, so let's see, if we are a totalitarian Orwellian state... We probably don't want to give businesses that much power. So let's limit the agency activities. All right. So it's going to be a couple of turns before we start to see any effects from what we've been doing. But uh, let's take a peek here. So that's starting to go down a little bit. We have very high alcohol consumption. What's causing that? So unemployment and poverty are helping to cause that. And our alcohol law is also doing that a bit. So we have a minimum age of 18. It would cost 13 political capital. No, no, no. Don't use political capital to change that, which is fairly expensive. Um, our deficit's fairly large. It could be worse. Um, one of the tricks in this game is that um so here state pensions right now it would cost 26 to lower this so right now it's costing us 47 billion per quarter if we drag this all the way down we can save dozens of billions of pounds and if we wanted to spend uh almost twice the political capital we could actually get this all the way down to zero um i think we're going to do this it's a cheap trick it actually doesn't make people that angry 
and the private, or rather, this is public pensions, state pensions, uh, it actually gets replaced quite quickly by private pensions, which right now are quite small due to the fact that state pensions offset them. But um, these will skyrocket, and it'll bring us into a surplus. Tortured deportation. Police officers have arrested a con man who is staying in our country illegally. Under normal circumstances, he would be eligible to be deported back to his country of origin. The man claims that if sent back to his homeland, it is likely he will be tortured by the government. Well, I think that our totalitarian government would probably just love to torture him itself, but uh, I guess deporting him is the next best thing as far as they're concerned. Our popularity has gone up a bit, uh, actually considerably. So that's pretty good. Um, so that's a very healthy surplus now. What is our deficit? Or our debt, rather, not deficit. So, um, fairly high, although, uh, the problem with this graph is that it charts a bunch of things without actually having a labeled y-axis. And, you know, interest rate, that's not the same as, I mean, that's a percentage, that's not the same as, like, a dollar amount. So, a lot of these have different kinds of scales, and they're just all crammed together. Kind of a mess. Here we can see where we're getting our income. It's mostly the income tax, but sales tax and petrol tax are also a big chunk of that. Corporation tax actually looks pretty small, smaller than I might have expected. And our biggest expenditure is the state health service and then military spending. Well, we're probably going to want to crank up that military spending, aren't we? That'll make state employees happy and um, decrease unemployment. So let's go for that. It doesn't cost that much political capital. It is very expensive. Yeah, this is going to more than wipe out the um, surplus, but we're going to do it. Oh, so, um, so if it just shows the name of a group of people, state employees, that means how happy they are. It'll make them very happy. If it shows the little people icon, that means it increases the membership. And then you can see this too, the little coin stack increases the, um, well, this is showing a decrease in the income. Uh, I'm not quite sure why in that case. Maybe just because soldiers are less well-paid than other state employees, maybe? I don't know. 20 more political capital. Uh, what else should we work on? Technology backwater. Technology's not that great. We probably need a new policy. So we're going to go to, I think it's this button. No, that's not the right button. Uh, oh, the light bulb. That's right. So let's go to uh, economy, is it? And um, robotics research grants would work, but there are other things. Yeah, technology grants, let's do this. Crank it all the way up, apply changes, and let's just keep the clock moving. The clock ticking, put it that way. Vigilante mobs is now at an end. Oil pipeline attacked. Hmm. So that decreased our oil supply and made patriots unhappy. <coughs> The Human Rights Society says it actively encourages its members to oppose the current government. Hmm. So alcohol abuse is going down. We'd like to get alcohol consumption to go down. Um, well, actually, if we raise this, it will increase poverty. So let's know. Let's revert that change. Instead, we should focus on the alcohol law if we want to get rid of this. So that's consumption level. There's alcohol law. Um, Expensive, but yeah, we'll say strong restrictions. Just get rid of it. You can only have the watered-down victory gin. 21 left. Uh, let's see, what else? What else, what else, what else? Homelessness is huge. Unemployment is still huge. 
because of GDP. GDP is just getting worse and worse and worse um, because of uncompetitive economy and technology backwater. So we need to get rid of this first. This is going to have to be a very high priority. So, um, yeah, we have a good amount of political capital. Let's just keep dumping that in to um, we'll do the robotics research grants, I guess. And it doesn't help technology as much as I'd like, but it does help productivity, which is what we need for the, that other one, the uncompetitive economy. And yeah, this simultaneously reduces and increases unemployment, but we'll do it. So it reduces unemployment for the skilled folks who have to create and program the robots, I guess. But it increases unemployment for people who would otherwise, or you know, who have their jobs displaced by the robots. Um, we still have enough to push through probably one more pretty significant policy. So let's just look through these. Um, we don't need this alcohol awareness campaign because we just put super strong restrictions on alcohol. Uh, and I'm trying to think like a totalitarian Orwellian state here. So what would they want to do here? Maybe a luxury goods tax? Hmm. Oh, there is something. Um, it's like compulsory work for the... There are a lot of things in here we're going to have to pick up, like wiretapping and all that. Um, but yeah, like compulsory work for the unemployed or something like that. Oh yeah, down here. So it costs 25 to introduce, so we're just going to... Yeah, we'll just go to the next quarter. Ban same-sex marriage? I guess our Orwellian government would probably want to do that. That's a huge deficit. Oh, boy. All right. Um, compulsory work for the unemployed. So the poor and the socialists will hate us, but it will reduce unemployment and make the capitalists and the middle-income folks happy, and it also improves our GDP. And we have a little bit of capital left. Ooh, gated communities sounds like something that's very compatible. So it makes the wealthy very happy. And it costs nothing. That's nice. We're in such a deficit. Anything that... Um, yeah, let's do it. And that gets rid of all of our capital. So let's click through to the next thing. So f our popularity is wavering. Uh, credit rating downgraded. That's due to our large deficit. Global economy is in recession. So yes, it's just been going down and down and down and down. And our GDP is also in the toilet. Thanks to these bad events here. Um, we have to increase technology more. We have this massive deficit, though. Um, what are our expenditures? So, oh yeah, military, of course. Maybe we should get rid of the state health service, or lower it, which would cost 26 yeah, I think we'll do that. Stress epidemic. All right, so people are working hard. People are working hard. Hey folks, uh, I'm recording this on May 13th. I do have a new microphone on the way. I ordered a uh, Blue Yeti, picked it up, used on eBay, and hopefully it'll work better than this current microphone. So uh, now back to our program. Sorry about that. Major thing here, cutting the public health service deeply to... Uh, try to get rid of that deficit.
and still waffling about trying to get rid of all of those uh, very deleterious effects on our GDP, our economy, crank up all that homelessness, just not a good situation here. And that's all that happened in this episode. The other ones have no audio problems, so I hope to see you then. Good night, sleep tight, and don't let the Orwell bite. Bye-bye.